SNP leader Nicola Sturgeon was delivered a shock verdict on whether an independent Scotland would gain entry in the EU by Lord David Owen. Britain left the European Union on January 31, but not everyone in the UK has given up on EU membership. Despite Prime Minister Boris Johnson repeatedly rejecting her independence calls, Scottish First Minister Nicola Sturgeon is still determined to hold a second referendum this year. The Scottish National Party leader believes Scots are being dragged out of the bloc against their will. However, while Brexit might have made the case for Scottish independence stronger, it has also made it practically more. An independent Scotland would now border a non EU country, likely requiring infrastructure and border checks between regions whose communities are deeply intertwined, similar to the problem of the Irish border that severely complicated Brexit talks. Scotland could also be rejected by Brussels due to its current deficit of 7% of GDP, unless it adopted a strict austerity programme from the EU, as well as potentially adopting the euro. Moreover, new members can only be allowed into the bloc through a unanimous vote from the existing member states, and Holyrood would undoubtedly ruffle feathers if it were to join. In an interview with Express.co.uk, Lord Owen explained why there is no chance Scotland will be allowed into the bloc. The former Foreign Secretary and Social Democratic Party SDP co-leader told, I think we should start moving to, if they really want to leave, eventually, they must be allowed to leave but they must face up to reality and have a proper and honest debate. Are they going to be allowed in the EU? Will Spain? With all the problems they face in Barcelona? Not a chance. You know, there are five European countries that still do not allow Kosovo to become independent. They are afraid of legitimizing the separation from countries, the peer added, and let's not forget Belgium. They sit on a very uneasy arrangement between two parts of Belgium, and they are not going to legitimize the splitting of a country. Once you allow it, you open up a can of worms. Lord Owen's claims were brought into the open in 2016, when the EU's national governments did not even want to hold bilateral talks with the SNP as Ms Sturgeon tried to protect Scotland's status in the bloc after the Brexit referendum. In a 2016 report by The Telegraph, the publication's Scottish political editor Simon Johnson recalled how Ms Sturgeon visited Brussels a few days after the majority of Britons voted to leave the bloc. The First Minister met up with former President of the European Commission Jean-Claude Juncker, but EU member states and the former President of the EU Council Donald Tusk refused to engage in talks.